The Jason Johnson Classic is green at Arrowhead. Giovanni Selzy up top, Sheldon Hodgshill trying to slide him, can't make it happen. Selzy leads down the back straightaway. Brian Brown works the middle in, turns three and four. David Gravel splitting Logan, Shewhart and Carson Macedo. Now Copeboy tries to make something happen on the inside of the speedway. All over the front stretch here at Arrowhead Speedway. David Gravel to the inside of Logan Shewhart. Shewhart trying to come back at him. Carson Macedo is right there as well. That is the race for the fourth spot behind Giovanni Selzy, Sheldon Hodgshill and Brian Brown. Sheldon to the inside in three and four. A look for the lead on turn number four. Sheldon Hodgshill leading the fourth circuit. Giovanni Selzy back to the inside of one and two, and Gio takes the top spot back. Cars getting together on the front stretch. Garrett Williamson and the 83 senior of James McFadden. Williamson comes to a stop. Good restart by Giovanni Selzy to pull away from Sheldon Hodgshield. David Gravel continues his quest to take the third spot away from the 21 of Brian Brown. Gravel to the inside and turns three and four. Brian Brown up on the cushion, side by side, across the line. Brown third as they cross the line, but now David Gravel moves into the spot. Carson Macedo clips the wall in one and two. That allows Logan Schuhart to move by. Selzy forges ahead at the midpoint of the back straightaway. Sheldon Hodgshill to the bottom in three and four once again. Heavy traffic in front of the leaders as they cross the line. Selzy still on the point, but Sheldon is right there with him. Giovanni Selzy grabs the cushion out of turn number two. Back around the outside of Sheldon Hodgshill. Sheldon fighting for the low side. And now Jacob Allen all over David Gravel. Sheldon Hodgshill the leader on lap number 17. Selzy to the cushion. Sheldon held up by slower traffic down low. Jacob Allen making it a three car battle for the lead into turn one. Allen to the inside of Selzy for second. Jacob Allen second now. Selzy climbs back up the banking and turns three and four. Crosses back underneath. Now David Gravel three wide for third. David Gravel, Giovanni Selzy, and Jacob Allen. There's contact, and Allen's got a damaged front end. And we come back to green flag action in the Jason Johnson Classic. Giovanni Selzy, a peek to the inside of David Gravel, can't make the move for second there. Carson Macedo all over the 1S of Logan. Shuhart couldn't make the pass for the fourth spot. Sheldon Hodgshill pulling away slightly from second place. David Gravel. Gravel works lower on the speedway in one and two, but Sheldon maintains that same 10 car length advantage over the Big Game Motorsports number two. Sheldon drifts up the racetrack in turn two. Here comes David Gravel once again. White flag will wave as Gravel works around the outside of the 7S. One lap to go at Arrowhead in the Jason Johnson Classic. Gravel around the outside. Pulls even back straight away for the final time. It'll come down to the final quarter in the Jason Johnson Classic. David Gravel on the outside. Sheldon Hodgson protects and hangs on for the win. David Gravel second. Giovanni Selzy in third. Logan Schuhart fourth. And Carson Macedo in fifth. Head up top to celebrate his second victory of 2024. Yeah, I knew I was running uh, one and two a little too careful probably, but uh, I missed, uh, missed the rubber there the one lap just trying to get around the lapper and, uh, you know, was just staring hard left to see if I could see the orange car and, um, yeah, hats off to Ripper, Luke, Steve. Uh, man, after nights like last night, it's, uh, you know, it's tough. So to, to rebound and get a win, you know, we, we know we've been fast, so spirit's been good and, uh, yeah. It's always good beating the two, you know, he's so good this year and, and all the past years and especially in rubber situations, I feel like I've struggled in the past. You know, I know I've lost races at Peebly and, and a few other places in the rubber, so it feels good to get a win in the rubber. Obviously getting to race him first couple years with Jason was a blast and uh, just seeing Jax grow up uh, over the years is awesome and uh, yeah, I have some good memories with Jason and uh, yeah, love getting this trophy. I know I ran, uh, I think second to David at, at Ozark, so uh, good to get him this time. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.